Hi, this is Al. It's Wednesday the 10th. I just wanted to give you all an update on the solar panels. There's the uh, sharp uh, panels that have the uh, microinverters behind it that are from Enphase. And uh, I had some questions from people about, you know, the one that didn't have any power coming out of it. Uh, that's fixed. Uh, just got up on the roof and reconnected a, uh, a connector that uh, I forgot that I had. Uh, I guess when I was up there, I kicked it and uh, disconnected it by accident. So anyway, it's all done. And those are working. And uh, I had a lot of uh, comments about people think that I went ahead and put all these panels and went through all that trouble so they would all be in the shade. Uh, it's you know two two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, you know there's no shade. My panels are never in the shade until uh, winter time. Usually about the last hour of the day they will get shadows on it. And I'm not concerned about that because the at that time of the year and at that time of the day the low the the sun is so low on the horizon and the angle is so low that you're not gonna make any decent power production. Sure I can come over here and you know pay somebody to get up there and you know lob off the top of these these oaks but uh you know for what they'll charge me to do that I don't think it's gonna take me a long time to make that money up for the you know the hour or, or, or hour and a half I think uh, it's what it lasts to have those shadows up there in the winter time the summer time summer time I never get any shadows period there's sun is too high in the horizon to be of any worry when the oaks grow tall enough then I'll worry about it uh, but anyways I just hope that this shows everybody there are you know uh, we kind of think about things a little bit before we spend the money on the effort to not do solar panels and put solar in the shade that doesn't buy me a whole lot and uh, as you can tell from the sky there's uh, a lot of clouds today uh, you know it's, it is pretty cloudy all the way through so there's some over there but over here right on top of the house it's, uh, it's pretty cloudy all through so I'm getting you know a uh, good good bit of uh, clouds in here so I'll show you what the output of those panels look like uh, and then I'll post another video that I took the other day from a nice buck, an eight point buck that I had out of here over by the feeder. And uh, he was just laying down, taking it easy and servicing his does, I guess. Uh, hiding from the pressure of the hunting season. But here's the output from the M face panels, as you can see. Uh, so today at 2.15 in the afternoon, let me see if this thing will focus. Uh, we produce six and a half kilowatts of power. We're about 1.3 kilowatts with the. Uh, let me see. There we go. We got a 1.3 kilowatts of power with the uh, shadows that we're getting from the clouds. And you can see all the panels are active. And this is the last 24 hours, so that's yesterday afternoon. Uh, you know, peak power here that we're seeing. Uh, actually, peaked higher than that, but that's what we're capturing right now. And, uh, you know, then obviously nighttime comes around the afternoon, it goes out and uh, comes back up. And where are we today? Well, we're at 1411 right now. So that's not too bad, 1411 watts, and we peaked out at 1528. So you can see the cloud effect in here, right, as we go through. And uh, so the panels are working fine, and as you can see here, we produce uh, 61 kilowatts, and that's in the last seven days total has been 101 kilowatts. This is about a week and a half um, of power. I plug the envoy in. Uh, let me see which date. Um, so that was Friday the actually that was that Friday before that Monday. 
So it had to be, what, the 29th, 28th, 29th, something like that. So it's about two weeks. Two weeks worth of power. Uh, so a couple hundred kilowatts. Uh, you know, 100 kilowatts in almost a couple of weeks. So I expect a couple hundred kilowatts out of this in a month's time frame, if not more. Of course, this is winter time. Summer time, uh, we get at least three more hours of sunlight. And obviously the sun is a lot higher in the horizon, so I expect that number to go, you know, from 200 to maybe 300, uh, and maybe even more, more like 350. So with the two kilowatts of uh, the other solar panels added, I think I'll be uh, I'll be pretty good, especially once I get my turbines reconnected again, my wind turbines. And if I go over here and I go to the last seven days, uh, this is actually pretty neat. I found this just by looking at it in here. I can actually play the power production day to day and it shows me kind of what's going on day by day, hour by hour, which panels are producing what on the last seven days. And as you can see, there's a panel here that I got to figure out. I noticed that while I was doing this, this panel always starts producing power after the rest. So I don't know if maybe there's a shadow in the morning that I'm not aware of that's just hitting this one panel but it seems like sure there is so I'll knock that out that that one I'll probably worry about knocking it out uh, you know and uh, like I said I'll take a look at the rest because if I gotta you know if it's cheap enough I'll just uh, take care of it uh, I could probably go to Home Depot and get a 35 foot uh, lift bucket for a couple hundred bucks and uh, knock it out in one day take the tops off those trees but anyways uh, that's all I really wanted to show you guys uh, hope that answered everybody's questions about you know uh, the panel not being working or about the um, uh, what do you call it the uh, shadows on the roof there are no shadows on the roof all day long like, like people think uh, so you all take care uh, God bless everybody and uh, for those of you who haven't opened their Bibles lately, make sure you, you know, open up your Bible. Read a couple chapters today. It'll do you good. The Lord will talk to you in a powerful voice when you start reading the Bible. And it'll guide you. And you'll see yourself changing slowly. You ain't got to do much other than read the Bible. And the Word will change you slowly your 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 life will turn around your family will turn around they'll see people will see your change and they will change with you those around you everything will be better uh, and then you'll just get the urge because the spirit will talk to you to start praying pray for yourself pray for anything you want if you pray he will listen if you just read the Bible, that voice from the Lord, the Spirit will talk to you and pretty soon you'll ask Him to forgive you for all the stuff you've done and He will, because that's His promise, that He will forgive us of anything we've done. So, it's like the best daddy we ever had. No matter what you, thing wrong you do, you're the son, he's your daddy, you know he's going to forgive you. So, it's all good. So, you just read that Bible asking for forgiveness and he knows you're gonna mess up again I mess up all the time but he's my daddy I'll ask him for forgiveness and he'll forgive me and I'll try to be good and I'll fall again later on it's just that's the way it is um, and then uh, you know you'll get that voice to start talking to you louder and eventually you'll, you'll start praying for things and things will start happening in your life and you pray more and you'll see that it makes a difference you go like man this stuff really works but it all comes from the word get in the word read that bible and then you'll start changing the lord will change you because he wants you he wants you to live forever he don't want to lose you you're his son or his daughter. He loves you. Alright? You all take care and be good. God bless everybody.